What's up, everybody? I'm Outlaw Morgan. Welcome to Owen Fishing. If you are new to the channel, hit the red box, subscribe, hit the bell, make it go ding. What do you got to lose? Let's become friends. Today, I want to talk to you guys about fishing gear, not your typical fishing gear, not baits, lures, rods, reels, or anything like that. I want to talk about camera gear, the type of cameras that I own, what I use, and how I rig up my bass boat to film myself out there fishing to produce the videos that you see on this channel. We're going to talk about that right now. Now, you're probably looking at this and thinking to yourself, that looks a bit overkill. And you're probably right. Do you need all of this to produce fishing content on a boat for YouTube or whatever the case is? Absolutely not. You can probably just get away with this stack here, but I have literally used everything on this table outside of this one camera. Let's just start down the road here. This is my drone. I'm sure most of you guys know what a drone is. Uh, produced by a company called DJI Mavic Pro. So it's like three years old, but it does everything I need it to do. It creates some awesome transitional shots. Uh, I love to use it in orbit mode, tracking the boat and whatever. Um, do you have to have this to produce fishing content? Absolutely not. Uh, but what this actually brings to the table is pretty epic if you're trying to like really get down on some uh, you know, juicy, juicy stuff. This is my Sony a6500. I should say was RIP to the Sony a6500. I used to use this to do my vlogging style shots in between the action camera shots. And uh, I was out on a boat one day fishing high driller. The driller was really thick. Uh, trying to get out of the driller, I had to crank my uh, trim up on my motor. And, you know, you always got to reverse and blow the, the lettuce off. I forgot the trim was up and shot a rooster tail right over the boat. I thought this was sitting in a place that was dry, secure, and safe. Turns out it wasn't. It got wet and it is dead as a door now now, which brings me to one thing I want to tell you guys. If you are going to invest in this type of equipment, then make sure that you also invest in cases such as this. This is like a big old Pelican style waterproof, weatherproof case. This actually will house everything. I can put all of my gear in this one case. I do have a place in my boat that this will fit. There's nothing else in it. Um, so that works. And I have, you know, you can go to Harbor Freight. If you, if you don't need something that size, you can always go to Harbor Freight. You can get smaller cases. This is a case that I actually put all of my action cameras in, batteries, uh, cards, things of that nature. So you definitely want to make sure that your stuff is protected or you're going to have, you know, a thousand plus dollar mistake like I did. But of course, I still travel with an A6500. The only difference is, is that I make sure I take my case. Where it comes to like vlog format, you can't beat this camera. I know it looks big and kind of gawky or whatever the case is, but I have a 10 to 18 millimeter lens on it. Super great for a uh, wide angle. I have a video micro road mic here. Um, so I get great audio. Um, great wide shots. I combined it with this uh, S-I-R-U-I, Sir, Sir Ui. And uh, so, you know, I, I put it on a stick or whatever. This is awesome. But if the weather looks like it's crazy, I take it apart, uh, put it in the box and switch strictly over to like the GoPro format. Which brings me to the action cameras. This is the meat and potatoes of filming on a boat or whether you're ocean fishing or freshwater fishing, these are the predominant cameras that you will be using to get most of your shots. Um, now, you can use these with head mounts, which I know looks cheesy, but the best angles you'll ever get come from a head mount, believe me. Uh, you can also use these with chest mounts. Uh, you can use gooseneck clamps like I have right here. And the beauty of one of these setups is I have two goosenecks connected here. You can see that it connects right there. So there's two different individual pieces. Uh, then you have the mount for the camera here. Uh, you also have a hand clamp here. So you can pretty much put this thing anywhere you want it. And if you want to know what this is about, this is so in, just in case it falls off. Uh, this is a pool noodle. And I zip tied it on there just so it will float in case it falls off the boat and I can retrieve it. But you can put this thing just about anywhere. You can also use the sticky mounts, the adhesive mounts. Uh, and then you can actually take this piece 
um, off of there and, and move it to different places. I have one on my engine. I have one on the wind visor uh, by the uh, console. And we'll get into all that. I'll actually show you guys how I set it up on the boat. But let's get back to these cameras. I recently did an upgrade. I used to use nothing but these cameras here, the YIs. And uh, no remote would have to go to each one, press record at certain times, go to the front of the boat, run the back of the boat. So they're, they're not sequenced at all and uh, made post editing quite interesting and hard. Uh, but then I bought the 7 Pro here, Black, Hero Black, and um, was using that as well. And then a buddy of mine told me, hey, man, why don't you buy a couple of these and then you can buy a remote. And you can actually use GoPro Labs to sync these and when the remote hits the record button, these things come on at the exact same time and start recording an almost perfect sequence. I mean, if they're off, we're talking like maybe a fraction of a millisecond, something that you really couldn't catch in post. And to me, that is insanely important because when I'm out on the water, I just wanna be able to hit a button and go. And now I actually can do that. But I hate GoPro audio so much. Uh, and the YI cameras, believe it or not, have great audio in them. They're just really high, um, really trebled out, which is a simple fix in post. So what I do is I use these as location cameras on the boat to record in what we call third person, where it looks like someone else is recording you. Uh, and then I will take one of these and put these on a chest mount and use this as a chest mount camera. But primarily, I'm, I'm using this for audio. Okay, hold on. Time out. I'm sitting here editing this and I'm like, I can't believe I didn't mention this. If you are going to run a camera as a chest mount camera, I think it's important to mention for those that may not know, uh, you need an external battery source of some sort. This one will power my phone practically four or five times in a day. Uh, so I keep this in my back pocket. I run a cable to power the camera. I have it on 20 minute loops. This way I don't have to worry about if the camera is running, not running. Uh, it's always running unless it overheats. I don't want to change out multiple batteries in a day. I've done that before. I just want to keep fishing back to what I was saying because the audio in this thing is so much better than GoPro audio. I don't know. I don't understand that. You pay 120 bucks for a camera, you get decent audio. You pay 350, whatever the case is, 399, and you get crap audio. So if you're going to use a GoPro, you always have to have an external mic. And I'll show you the difference right here. Oh my god! Oh, <laughs> oh. that's a tank! Oh. <laughs> what? Oh my gosh, boys! That is a tank! As you guys can see, audio matters. At least to me, it does. And you can buy a camera for 120 bucks that has awesome audio, and you can buy a camera for almost $400 that has crap audio. Either way, if you're going to run GoPro, you definitely need an external audio source. For me, what I like to do right now is I use this as my primary audio source. Like I said, I just put the GoPro on the front, GoPro on the back, whatever the case is. I don't have to leave the trolling motor. I have this on a carabiner, which stays on a belt loop. I'm hitting record on the remote at the same time simultaneously I'm hitting record on this camera and that pretty much gives me a decent sync. Now some people out there are using the exact same system that I'm using right now which is called a lavalier mic. Uh, I have a mic under my shirt that's taped to my shirt it's hidden so that you guys can't see it uh, and it's used in like news um, stuff where they have you see the little mic on the tie or the jacket or whatever. Um, there are people out there currently using those setups. I've stayed away from it because my lavalier setup is a uh, AA battery. So between watching cameras, making sure they don't overheat, making sure they're going and recording, then you're adding another thing you've got to check on to make sure that your audio is not dropping out. And if you guys actually record like I do, you know there's nothing more frustrating than coming back, going into post, dumping all your files into the computer and realizing that audio has dropped out uh, where you desperately needed it. I hear Rode has a system out there right now uh, that is lithium battery and rechargeable. And the reviews are saying that the power life is 10 to 12 hours. If that is true, that is amazing. And that is something I will be looking into in the future. Uh, let's talk about the YOLO tech stick for just one second. Some of you guys out there might know what this is. Some of you may not. 
And this is a game changer. It has been a game changer for me at least. Uh, basically, you can put your GoPro on top of this or whatever camera you're using. Uh, and you can expand this to have additional height. Uh, but the one beauty of this device here is that it plugs into your nav port. Using your boat battery, you can have continuous power to the YOLO tech stick. Just use the USB port coming out to see on the camera and you can record 20 minute loops on your GoPro until your card is entirely filled. And then you just switch the card, but you don't have to worry about power and that is a great thing. The Yellow Tech even provided me a different dynamic. I could shoot from a different angle. I left it in the nav port while the boat was running and I was running to the spot. Looks pretty cool, huh? If you guys have ever wondered how someone shoots that angle where it looks like someone's literally sitting in the water and they're shooting up towards the boat, I'm gonna show you how I do it. Uh, you can do it with a drone. That's one way of doing it. You can put somebody in the water. That's one way of doing it. But we got gators down here in Florida and nobody's trying to get in the water unless they absolutely have to or they fall off the boat. So I use a rail blazer system. This is something I actually used to use to record myself kayak fishing. This is two different rods combined into one. So you have multiple joints here. I put a port on the boat, you can literally lock it in like that, you lock it into place, and then you have this low hanging angle, and when you're shooting wide, or super wide, or whatever you're shooting, you'll literally have the water, the bottom of the boat, and then the person will look higher, right? So it looks like it's coming up from the water into the boat, and that's a pretty cool thing. You can get these at West Marine, pretty much anywhere. You can look on eBay and find Railblazer systems, but that's how I capture that. And it's such a unique thing to have. I don't use it near as much as I should, uh, but it does create a cool angle. So like I was saying earlier, I used to have to run to the back of the boat, turn on a camera, run to the front of the boat, turn on a camera, turn on the chest mount, whatever the case is. Now that I have two GoPros and they're actually synced to this remote, I don't have to run or cross the boat or do any of that hassle shit. I literally just stand here at the front of the boat. I put my finger on this camera, put my finger on the remote, hit both simultaneously, and that pretty much syncs up good enough for me to edit later in post. Um, I only have one YOLO tech stick now. I plan on getting another. That way I can always have a camera on the front of the boat and always have a camera on the back of the boat, shooting multiple angles, both with the GoPros, one click, both recording. That's pretty awesome. So there you have it, guys. I mean, I use a drone, I use action cameras, I use DSLRs, I use the YOLO tech stick, I use chest mount, head mount, whatever it takes to get a cool shot. Um, do you have to use all that stuff? Absolutely not. Can you compile footage and make something awesome out of much less? Yeah, you can. But uh, for me, it's been an obsession, so I've collected a lot of gear over the years, and I might as well put it to use. Uh, if you have any comments, drop them down below. Be sure to subscribe to the channel, uh, hit the bell for notifications, and I will see you guys next time. Take care.